pot dispensaries just like this one popping up like weeds in Toronto. That is a prediction from Canada's own Prince of Pot. He calls today's recommendations a game changer, but he admits a lot depends on the province. Once it's legalized, what do you think your shop will look like? It'll be a lot emptier um, because there'll be thousands of shops like this. Shops once condemned by the city, oh, raided by Toronto police. I'm not afraid to go to jail. Potentially soon to be as common as convenience stores on city streets. If the recommendations unveiled today in Ottawa take root in Ontario. Do you think the game will change for you for what you already do day to day here in Toronto? Oh yes, the price will drop. As much as 50 to 60 percent according to Canada's own Prince of Pot, the price of going mainstream. But before the game is changed, it looks like Ontario will get to define many of the rules. The task force recommending today wholesale distribution and retail operations be regulated by the provinces with input from cities. These are recommendations. There's a lot of analysis uh, that has to be done um, and we, we look forward to the, to the work. At City Hall, relief that defined rules will be coming, but little suggestion today of what those laws should look like. This is a big vacuum and the federal government should pretty quickly decide how they wish to manage the marijuana issue in Canada. I think we need interim measures and interim guidance from the federal government today, yesterday in fact. The recommendations getting a big green thumbs up from Canada's largest licensed cannabis producer. They've come out with a, a great framework for the government to consider and to ultimately build a, a world-class uh, you know, policy framework. Tweed also looking to expand into storefronts once recreational weed is legal. Joining the ranks and its buds over at Cannabis Culture who are expecting the competition. Typically we will do less business and we will make less profits and we will see a lower price. Um, but that's all part of the normalization process. It should not be that lucrative to be in something that's legal.